Looking at the latest medical advances, hepatitis C sufferers now have a better chance of fighting the infection, with the government giving the go-ahead to fund two new drug treatments. It's a move that's been welcomed locally. It is good that they've recognised that there is a need in our community for um, funding of newer medications for the treatment of hep C. The drugs Harvoni and Vicarapac will be funded by Pharmac, giving more than 50,000 Kiwis a better chance of beating the infection. Hepatitis C sufferers fall into four different genotypes and receive medication accordingly. Genotypes 2, 3 and 4 have to wait until they're sick to receive any treatment, but Beck says that could be 20 years away. It actually will be good for some, I must concede that, however um, there's a huge, huge percentage of the population that, that won't fit the criteria for treatment, so at the moment we, we don't really know but I'm thinking it could be 40-50% of people that won't be able to access um, treatment through Pharmac funding. The government is investing $124 million over four years into Pharmac as part of their 2016 budget. But cuts to social services funding last year saw the local Hep C centre lose their $80,000 of annual funding. Beck says sufferers need support centres like this, especially now, so they can guide them through the right treatment options. What we've been doing is we've been doing this buyers club thing, or working with people to... Um, be able to access the buyers club so there's more of a need for us now almost than there ever has been even though Pharmac is recognising that Hep C has reached epidemic proportions in New Zealand. Pharmac will also be funding melanoma drug Opdivo as well as Vidoxmav for nephrotic syndrome. The treatments will be available from the beginning of next month. Annabelle Dick, 39, Dunedin News.